Integra has announced their flagship AVR for this year. This is their DRX 8.4 AVR. Uh, it has the power output of 150 watts into 11 channels. It does Dolby Atmos DTSX as well as the fact that it's coming with direct live room correction. Normally, you know, Integra don't come with direct live. Direct live is for like premium AVRs from so many top brands. But this is coming to Integra receiver. I think this will be the first receiver that ever put in direct life, uh, at least as the default uh, room correction, which I think I'm happy with. Integra is a sister brand to OnQ. And I recently I talked about the fact that OnQ is going through a lot of problems. I think they're almost even out of business. So it's quite interesting to see that the sister brand that is under the same banner is releasing an AVR, not, not just any AVR, but a flagship AVR. This AVR can do 11.4 channel. Um, and pretty much it means it comes with four subwoofers. Uh, but that's something people would have to look at depending on if you want four subwoofers in your setup uh it, it will give you that option and it looks quite decent it even looks old school like the original integral av receivers from the past that were very successful uh it looks bulky it looks huge it looks like a product that would um, stand the test of time for a very very long time uh, the other thing again is that the fact that it's coming with direct room correction it's really 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 important that you know that this direct room correction would do a better job than what they used to have um they are or they are original they used to use odyssey they used odyssey for so many years um but they had to leave odyssey i think They've, 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 they just don't want to continue with Odyssey room correction anymore. And uh, and later they, they turn to their own room correction, which they use for a while, but now they've dropped it altogether. They are now going with a much more professional room correction, which is a direct room correction. And maybe it's even the reason why the AVR is a lot more expensive than it used to be. Because, yeah, you're going to pay $3,200 for this. And they are claiming that sound quality is the most important thing that they they took their time to work on. And you're going to get incredible sound quality that uh, will be pleasing for your ears in general. Like if you listen to top level audio, you're going to get that with this with this AVR. Um, and be better still, you have options. If you could either use your 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 mac pc to tune this avr once you get it or you can use the integra mobile app but you know you still need uh, a usb mic something to be able to measure um to, to measure and correct issues with the speakers as well as the bass frequencies um the direct live bass control uh is ready for single or multiple uh, usage depending on how many subwoofers you want to have in your setup uh, they will give you the option the other thing again is that it's a pretty much a class a and b designed amplifier the 150 watts per channel is going to be just for just for two channels driven so if you run all seven if you run all 11 channels at the same time it would definitely drop down a lot more than that 150 watts that's been stipulated it's not all channel driven so let's not confuse that the funny thing here is that it supports not only dolby atmos and dtsx it supports oro 3d so the fact that you get oro 3d here is fantastic um now the other thing again is that the oro 3d is coming with a firmware update um as well as imax enhanced will be there as well so look for the fact that you have all the 3d supports with this avr i think that's just incredible i don't think anyone will complain about the integra uh 8.4 avr it has everything it supports high res audio at 24 bit 192 kilohertz um supports wireless music streaming amazon hd spotify connect tilt tidal Deezer, pandora um it really does a lot it even has hdmi 2.1 support 
um which i think a lot of people will be fine those even have variable refresh rate and auto low latency mode so gaming on it is going to be wonderful overall um and and, that, and it does have bluetooth support and also aptex hd there is apple airplay 2 there is chromecast built in uh it does support your wired internet connection uh which is really really wonderful uh really really wonderful uh, there is there is six hdmi um um inputs uh, on the rear and then one in the front so technically seven hdmi inputs there is analog connections at the back as well analog inputs uh you have xlr input you have phono input you have your digital optical input you have three of them you have digital coaxial two of them you have one usb uh, on the rear of the receiver and as well as in the front uh, so you have options uh, the other thing again is that you have multiple wired outputs you have three hdmi outputs um you have multi-channel preamp 11 that can go out to an, an external amplifier if you want to to use an external amplifier there are four subwoofers two of those four are independent and then the other two are in parallel uh, configuration so you have that option to use four subwoofers if you choose to um like really there are 15 speaker connections um, but you can set up zones if you want to do so so you have multiple zones and that's your choice if you want multiple zones set up so i'm going to drop details down in the description if you want to have a look at the new integra drx 8.4 check it out subscribe to the channel like our content i'll see you guys very much next